Chief Justice John Roberts on Friday said he would not cast any tie-breaking votes in the event of a 50-50 vote on motions in President Trump Donald John Trump Senate Democrats outraise Republicans, but GOP has cash edge Comey op-ed, U.S. democracy won't come apart if Trump isn't removed from office protesters flock to the Capitol after Senate impeachment votes more s impeachment trial. Roberts, the trial's presiding officer, said he believes he lacks the authority to cast a deciding vote, despite Chief Justice Salmon Chase having done so twice in the 1868 impeachment trial of President Andrew Johnson. I think it would be inappropriate for me, an unelected official from a different branch of government, to assert the power to change that result so that the motion would succeed, Roberts said. His remarks came in response to a question from Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer Charles Chuck Ellis Schumer Fox's Chris Wallace, every side is going to come out a winner on impeachment attorney tells McConnell that Parnas has records directly relevant to impeachment Durst Howitz, Trump trial is my worst controversy more DNY about the presiding officer's tie-breaking authority. Roberts, appearing to read from a prepared statement, summarized the two votes by Chase in the Johnson trial. One had to do with a motion to adjourn and the other was to adjourn deliberations. Roberts said, I do not consider those episodes 150 years ago to break ties. If it is divided equally on a motion, the normal rule is that the motion fails. His response to Schumer came after the Senate voted down an effort to call witnesses and documents. That motion failed in a 49-51 vote. Practically speaking, Roberts's statement means a unified Democratic caucus must convince four Senate Republicans to join them to achieve a majority vote in Trump's trial.